Dr. Gana. Uh, you are yes. founder and general director of the Center for Geostrategic uh, Studies. What pushed you to found such an organization? Uh, I'm from Serbia. We don't have in Serbia now politicians uh, in parliament uh, uh, who are um, thinking about Serbian interests and about uh, geopolitic, uh, the geopolitical situation in the world uh, and uh, that's um, very important for, for us to uh, know what is happening in the world and uh, what, what are the interests of Serbia then uh, uh, we can, uh, when we know what is going on and uh, know our interests, we, we can th then uh, work uh, uh, something th that uh, situation is in Serbia can be better than now because it's a very bad situation in Serbia. Bad situation because I understood that in Serbia there are a lot of uh, discussions. Uh, will Serbia be, will be a member of the European Union? Yes or no? Yes. I know that there are a few politicians in Serbia who want it. Uh, I know that the people, I think, mostly of the people, they don't want it. Yes. Um, tell me why, what is your position? Uh, I understood you are against membership of yes. European Union. Why? You don't like Europeans? <laughs> no, I like uh, European people, but I don't like European Union because uh, that uh, project of European U Union is wrong for, uh, for all people in Europe. Uh, because that's... Uh, uh, the project uh, is uh, not uh, in interest in, in, in Serbia, in Serbia for Serbian people. It's not in interest from uh, French people, mm -hmm. for German people, and other people also. Uh, well, uh, uh, people in Serbia are are uh, in uh, are f uh, not for uh, European Union. They are ag against uh, European integrations, but. Uh, uh, it's a situation like that we have um, like uh, marionettes in our government. Uh, we have uh, uh, politicians uh, that are under control of West. So we uh, we are going to European Union, and our politicians are uh, taking us in European Union, no matter what people don't want to go there. And uh, it's wrong for uh, Serbia because we have a very uh, bad economy because of uh, European Union. We don't have industry anymore uh, and uh, there was a very bad privatization in Serbia and all that uh, very harms uh, Serbian. But on this moment uh, Serbia is still not a member of the European Union. No. How can the European Union be bad for Serbia on this moment? Uh, because we have uh, that uh, agreements with the European Union mm -hmm. and because uh, our politicians are uh, working like they are in European o Union because they are working uh, all, uh, they are doing all uh, what uh, politicians from Brussels and from Washington want. Well, they uh, comment, yeah. uh, yes, and uh, no matter that uh, against uh, Serbian interest, uh, they are doing what they want for us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I see that we have uh, a few uh, common points. One is that uh, we both are a lot of times in Russia. Yes. And the second point is that we both we like Russia. We can yes. even say that we are a little Russophile. Yes, for yeah? yes, sure. But um, the answer for me, I know it. But mm -hmm. I want to hear it from you. Uh, why do you like Russia? Um, like uh, every <laughs> Serbian uh, like uh, Russia because we have the same uh, history, the same culture, the same, same religion. We are re we are really, uh, we have really close, uh, uh, Russians and Serbian people are very, very close. Uh, from, from, and that's uh, like in the uh, whole history. And uh, we have uh, the same roots. And that's the reason because Serbian people love R uh, Russia, and uh, for me also that's that's the very good good reasons for uh, love Russia, and uh, also we love Russian people because uh, Russian people was helping uh, Serbian people uh, any in any time that we need.
need uh, help. Uh, like uh, now we have uh, mm -hmm. floods in Serbia and uh, first uh, Russia help Russians. Help a lot, help a lot. Because yes. the Western media nobody speaks about it. No, they even don't speak, and uh, that was our Tennessee joke, which uh, told that uh, BBC and CNN uh, uh, are uh, they don't have anything about floods in Serbia, and that uh, really was a disaster for for us. And uh, the Russia first sent uh, mm -hmm. their specialists for uh, help and. Uh, other food yeah. or they are helping, uh, helping mm -hmm. us uh, a lot. Mm -hmm. And then uh, that, uh, that Catherine Ashton, uh, there, there was some um, like uh, uh, conference and she told that uh, she is uh, thinking about Serbia and that uh, the European Union mm -hmm. will help us. So they have very yeah. long proce procedures and uh, yeah. maybe we will uh, get the help from for from European U Union for six uh, months, I guess. So. And what will be the price? <laughs> no, the question, yes, right? yes, yes, the price. If uh, the European Union helps somebody, there is a price to pay. Yes. Uh, you yes. lose your soul. Yeah? We know it. Because I, I live in Belgium and I I see how the how the Western countries are really Americanized. Yes. And even I, I heard from uh, I, I heard that from people who lived in the States that the Americanization in Europe is worse than in America. We, we copy everything what, what happens in the States, yeah. but we do it worse. Yes, I know. The, yeah. the good example is uh, our province in Kosovo and Metohia. Mm -hmm. And uh, there uh, Americans did what they did in America when they came when the Britain, Britons came to America. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, what they did to Indian people, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. They are all in uh, kind of Reserv camps, okay. reservoirs. No, uh, uh, today the Serbian people in Kosovo and Metohia are living like that. Like, like, Zinez, yeah. like Indians, they are all in camps and uh, they are just uh, using uh, like our churches to for tourism and uh, we don't. Uh, have uh, any security there, our people, mm -hmm. and uh, if you go to Kosovo and Tokyo, you will see the flags of uh, United States and the flags of Germany, for example, mm -hmm. and the uh, flags of Albania. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that's like we are under full occupation. Yeah. So now that we speak about the tale of, um, of, of the United States and, and occupation and so, let's uh, go back uh, 50 years ago. Uh, the, the NATO attacked your country 15 years ago. It was horrible. And uh, what is the impact of this attack today? How the Serbians remember and feel these horrible moments um, in, hist in Serbian history? Yes. So Ser Serbians don't like NATO at all because we, we remember what they did to us. It was the first time in uh, history that uh, main power, world power, bond one small country. We have seven million, about seven million people, and uh, in NATO in that time was uh, uh, nineteen uh, states, uh, eighteen, eighteen mm -hmm. states, and uh, the goal was uh, to. Uh, control Balkan and uh, United States want to build a camp mm -hmm. on our land and yeah. they did it after bombing. There is a camp uh, bond still in mm -hmm. uh, Serbian province called Kosovo and Metohia. So uh, it was uh, very hard uh, for Serbia because uh, in that bombing we lose our uh, Industry. We mm -hmm. they bombed our schools, mm -hmm. our uh, cemeteries, our churches, our buildings, and uh, civilians. Uh, they they use uh, uranium bombs and mm -hmm. unillegal arms. So uh, we, I guess, we will uh, have. Um, uh, like uh, problems uh, because of bombing for, uh, for all future of uh, Serbian is uh, under question because of that. Um, 
So uh, we are remembering what, what yeah. happened now. Uh, the, there was a conference uh, one month ago, ago about uh, 15 years from bombing of Serbia. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have there experts from all uh, from Germany also, from Britain, from United States, and that intellectuals uh, who are talking about what, what happened in Serbia and what uh, mm -hmm. United States and NATO did to one small country. And there was any reason uh, except they want to build a uh, camp and they want to control that Balkan. And uh, they, uh, they, they are talking uh, that there was a genocide uh, okay. over Albania, but that's not true because uh, we see uh, there they was talking that uh, Iraq, like Iraq have uh, um, uh, like uh, arms. Uh, yeah, mass arms. Yes, mass arms. And after that, uh, we saw, <laughs> see that was a lie. There was talking that in Syria was uh, chemical arms also, yes. but th that's all li lies. And yeah. We have a big prob problem with uh, Western propaganda because they like uh, uh, for Serbs uh, the main problem was propaganda because they are talking uh, bad things about Serbs and mm -hmm. it's all uh, lies. Is this uh, today an item on the schools in Serbia? Do the the youngsters they, they learn about this? No, because uh, in Serbia we don't uh, learn many important things, uh, like uh, again said in Jasenovac and uh, other bad things that we happened to us in the past. Because uh, uh, it's a very wrong situation in Serbia, we don't have a uh, it's like we don't have a state. We are on the full occupation, and uh, our school system is also mm -hmm. like uh, well, Western well, school. Uh, yes. yes, yes. Not like Russia. Not uh, like. It's very different. Y yes, we, we are learning mm -hmm. some very uh, things that uh, that are wrong, like uh, historical things mm -hmm. uh, in yeah. our school that they have ro wrong. Uh, historical things to, to learn our children. Mm -hmm. An emotional question maybe? Because I don't know if you had victims uh, in your family uh, in the time of the bombing. Uh, you had victims I in your family? No, no, okay, you were yes. looking, but do you know people who lost uh, yes, friends? Sure. So you know them, yeah? Yes, so yes. What would you say if today you walk on the street and you met one of these NATO bombers, what would you say to him? Yes. Um, I will ask him, uh, uh, is he realized what they did? Because uh, I meet some uh, NATO officers mm -hmm. and um, I talk with them. They, they are realizing that uh, they support the wrong side. But, uh, you know, mm -hmm. they are just, um, for example, in Kosovo and Etokia, uh, six months, uh, of every six months they get uh, other, uh, oh. like, um, officers, yeah. uh, because uh, they all uh, realize what is going on for six months, and they all support Serbs and uh, talk with uh, Serbian people there, and telling them, oh. so we we are so sorry because of this, but that uh, that's our state, that's politic. Uh, we we see now that we are wrong, you know. And uh, nothing after that. Uh, some people are like uh, they stay in Serbia, like one uh, a former NATO uh, officer. His name is Christian Karsh. And he have now a, a portal name is uh, Sorry Serbia. He's from Norwegian, and uh, he mm -hmm. is writing about uh, his experience and uh, that he is mm -hmm. also sorry what what happened to Serbia. Well, um, what can Serbia learn to Europe today? <laughs> so Serbian experience is. Uh, I think very good for European people. They had to see what happened to Serbia 
and they then they can think about that that project of European Union and uh, they have to think about the role of United States in Europe. Uh, now we see what is uh, happening in Ukraine that's uh, that also was mm -hmm. happening in in Yugoslavia, Yugoslavia and former Yugoslavia and Croatia, we have also the, like problem with uh, Croatians. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, so that that's that's one example. They they like our experience. It's uh, very very useful useful for other people in other states. Mm -hmm. And we need to just uh, uh, finish with that. Uh, uh, United States occupation, like uh, other states in in Europe, mm -hmm. also. So, in fact, you had uh, the last question. <coughs> you had a lot of critics uh, for the Serbian politicians of the day. They are not patriotic enough. That's what I understood. Yes. The, a lot of things are going bad in Serbia. Certainly yes. now with this flood. Uh, I don't believe in mir I don't believe in uh, coincidence, but I say I think there is there must be more. But my question is, you love Serbia, yes. you love your country, of course. Uh, but, but everything is going bad, and you love your country. How you can explain this? You have to love country no matter what is going on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's the mm -hmm. simple, simple mm -hmm. answer. Okay. Thank you. No, thank you very much, and I have one present for you. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the Serbian flag for okay. you. Oh, that's yeah. nice. And uh, this, uh, like, uh, this is uh, Kosovo and Metohija, Serbian promise, and this uh, means uh, Kosovo is Serbia. Is Serbia? Is, right. This here, is yes. Wow, well, yes. okay. <laughs> thank you very much thank you. for this interview. I will <laughs> open the flag now. So, and here, you, yes. so, because the people on the video can see this, it's like that, it's a nice, nice, yes. yeah. so, this is one of the most beautiful, uh, let's say, uh, European flags we can find. Thank you very much. <laughs>